today's session we will dive into the profound and often intricate musings of Joram Peterson. Peterson, a notable Canadian clinical psychologist and cultural critic, has always been one to challenge our understanding of the human condition. He draws from literature, mythology and psychology to weave his narrative. Often leading his audience on a journey of introspection and discovery, today we will be reviewing a talk he gave, breaking it down so you can better appreciate the layers of meaning embedded within his words. The talk touches on a range of topics, from our evolutionary history to the concept of sacrifice. Let's delve deep and explore these ideas through the lens of Peterson's storytelling. There, there, there is the category of problems in life, and it ain't going anywhere. And so the question is, can you deal with the whole category at the same time? That's the thing. That's how to be in the world, is to deal with that category all at the same time. And so how did, how did human beings... What did they come up with as a solution? And that's so cool too, because the solution they come up with not only was the heroism that allows you to approach what you're terrified by and what you find offensive and to learn from it, but also the idea of sacrifice. And, and that was played out by cultures everywhere, including human sacrifice. And you think, what the hell was up with those crazy bastards so long ago? They were sacrificing to gods all the time. What kind of clueless behavior was that? Burn something. And, please God, burn something valuable and please God. It's like, what was with them? What were they thinking? Well, they weren't stupid, those people. If they were stupid, we wouldn't be here. They were not stupid. And believe me, they lived under a lot harsher conditions than we do. So those were some tough people, man. You know, back then you'd last about 15 minutes. And so you don't want to be thinking of your ancestors as stupid. Like, there's no real evidence that we're much different cognitively than we were 150,000 years ago. So, anyways. Peterson presents a philosophical query. Can one tackle life's myriad problems simultaneously? It becomes a challenge of grappling with the totality of existence. He introduces the theme of sacrifice, linking it to heroism. Facing our fears and learning from them requires sacrifices, be it time, energy, or even personal comfort. Peterson delves into the historical practice of sacrifice, emphasizing the past societies weren't ignorant but operated on a different understanding of the world. A tribute to our angsters, Peterson reminds us of their resilience and wisdom, urging respect for the past. Peterson ties the concept of sacrifice to the future. Sacrifice becomes a bridge to a better tomorrow. Highlighting the wonder of foresight, Peterson marvels at humanity's ability to plan and work for a future that's yet to exist. He reflects on the evolutionary journey that led to the human capacity for abstract thinking, foresight and understanding sacrifice. Using storytelling elements, Peterson relates our conceptual understanding of sacrifice to how we process and dream. The discussion shifts to how modern societies have evolved for concrete sacrifice to symbolic gestures with the same intent. When you get to the point where you've grasped the bloody moral of the story, what went wrong? And how can I not have that happen again? Because that's the purpose of learning, right? That's the purpose of memory. It's to prepare you for the future. And so you have to pull out of that massive chaos a functional representation that increases your wisdom so that you're not this naive target the next time you enter into a relationship. So at least you can have another relationship without being so traumatized that, you know, you, you're done. And you know, it can take people years to talk that through because this landscape of potential opens up when, when they're betrayed. It's like, well, anything could have been the truth. Well, you, to sort through that, you have to wander through all that mess. And it's really painful and, and emotional as well. You have to sort through all that mess to come out with the new you, right? The renewed you. Peterson touches on the importance of societies that recognize and reward individual sacrifices, critiquing moral relativism in the process. In this final segment, Peterson illustrates the symbolic power of money, tying it back to sacrifice and societal stability. Diving deeper into Peterson's narrative, it's evident that the struggles we face today aren't new. Our ancestors grappled with similar issues, albeit in different contexts. They too made sacrifices, pondered existence 
and sought ways to better their futures. Their resilience and wisdoms are a testament to the strength of the human spirit. It's a humbling reminder that in the grand tapestry of time, we are but a fleeting moment and yet we are connected to the past and future in profound ways. In summarizing this talk, it's clear that Jordan Peterson beckons us to a journey of understanding of ourselves, of society and of the intricate dance between the past, present and future. Whether you agree with all his perspectives or not, his narrative style and thought-provoking insights are undeniably compelling. As we step back and observe the magnitude of his words, we are reminded of the infinite complexities of wonders of the human experience. Life is an intricate maze of challenges, dreams, sacrifices and rewards. Through it all, our ability to dream, to hope and to sacrifice for a better tomorrow remains one of our most potent tools. It is as Peterson beautifully encapsulates a dance with time, a testament to our indomitable spirit and our enduring quest for meaning.